The New York Knicks acquired Alec Burks back in February at the NBA trading deadline, along with Boyan Bogdanovich. And they gave him a chance to actually come in off the bench and provide the offensive spark that we were needing and wanted due to all the injuries back in February. Gave him the chance. Didn't really work out for Alec Burks. But boy, oh boy, over these last three games, Alec Burks has proven why that trade was so important back then. Just having that extra score come in off the bench and provide you a much needed spark. Alec Burks over these last three games is averaging 17 and a half points along with four and a half rebounds to go along with one assist and his true shooting percentage is 73 per cent. Now taking it back to game three in this series versus the Indiana Pacers, Alec Burks was a very vital piece off the bench, was scoring, was efficient, was a huge reason as to why the New York Knicks were in that game and they had a lead late and ultimately obviously they couldn't finish it out so after those first two games he was trending in the right direction and then game five hit where we saw more of the same burks came in off the bench was ready scored the rock looked great was efficient chemistry on the court was absolutely incredible but 18 points five rebounds five of eight from three from alec burks 62 percent from three and 54 percent from the field look alec burks like tom thibodeau said is a true professional staying ready behind the scenes even though this man was not playing this man was just parked at the end of the bench he was dealing with a shoulder injury but for him to be thrown into the fire in a high pressure situation the nba playoff second round i mean pressure is high due to the og and OB injury obviously we needed an extra spark off the bench and that's why depth is so important in today's game because you never know what's going to happen, and especially this Knicks team who has dealt with injury after injury after injury. For them to just have a luxury of Alec Burks off the bench, he could shoot, he could score, he can do all the little things, and he's another ball handler. Indiana Pacers this series are trying to get the ball out of Jalen Brunson's hands. They're starting to double team him more, and you park Alec Burks in the corner with Deuce and Dante. It's a recipe for, you know, success on the Knicks end. A true testament to Alec Burks' character, and even Dante said, after one of the games that even though Burks was not playing, he was still coaching up the guys behind the scenes, just doing all the the little things that we fans don't see. And for the Knicks to have this veteran presence on the squad and for him to come in and, 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 and just contribute. And it's like he didn't even lose a step. This is the Alec Burks who we thought we were getting from the Detroit Pistons. Because remember, in Detroit, Burks was putting up numbers like this. He was scoring a lot. He was comfortable. Granted, different team. That was like a terrible team. They needed as much scoring as possible, but that's what the Knicks thought they were getting. Didn't really work out the first couple of months, but sometimes it's like it takes a while for these guys to actually come into their own. Like Burks has family in Detroit, has, has small children in Detroit, like Mike Breen has stated on a couple of broadcasts, and that was, that's hard for some people. But now he's in the, he's in the he's playing for us due to all these injuries, and boy, oh boy, even when Ananobi, hopefully Ananobi can get back soon, I do think Alec Burks has carved himself out a role. This way, can get guys a breather, can score the rock. We know that, you know, he's done it before in the playoffs with the Knicks. He did it before in the playoffs. And for him to do what he's doing is just a true testament to his character. Big money AB, providing the Knicks that much needed spark off the bench. Just want to come on here and give Alec Burks his, his, his flowers because, look, I had faith in him. After game two, when Andrew Obi went down, we needed another spark off the bench and Alec Burks has definitely provided that spark off the bench. He's been efficient. He's been playing over 20 minutes a game in the first three games that he was unlocked. So shout out to Big Money AB coming in here and absolutely scoring the rock, doing it at an efficient rate. Like I said, chemistry on the court, man. I mean, he wasn't playing, but I mean, from what we saw in the first, in these first, in these last three games from Burks, seamless. And you know what that is, folks? That is culture. The New York Knicks have built a culture that... Alec Burks, who hasn't been playing for months, weeks, can just come in here and fit like a glove, score the rock, and just do what he does best. Let me know your thoughts about Alec Burks. Smash the comments. Give Alec Burks some love in the comments. I'm Anthony from the Knicks Nation. Appreciate every single one of you. I'll catch you guys next time. It's Let's Go Knicks. Job ain't finished. One more game into the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's go. Peace.